My name is Eric Luck. I am currently the Director of Critical Care Services at Swedish Covenant Hospital here in Chicago. Our biggest challenge in the ICU right now is the management of patients with sepsis, mostly septic shock and severe sepsis. The most important decisions that physicians make about patients' welfare and well-being occur in the intensive care unit, and it's just a natural place that I gravitated to. Sepsis became a challenge. Typically, most intensive care units will only identify the causative organism maybe one out of three times, slightly higher in some other centers, slightly lower in some community centers, which means that we're really running on our clinical acumen to decide if a patient is infected or not. So what's been happening over the last decade, maybe two decades even, is that rather than looking at these macro responses of the body to infection, we're actually trying to get into the biochemical reactions that the body does when it has an infection. These are much more specific, much more sensitive, and in fact, in a large number of them, way quicker than the markers that we have typically used at. And procalcitonin fits into that genre. It is a biomarker of the initial response, the innate response as we call it, to a bacterial infection. Lactate and procalcitonin are not looking at the same aspect of sepsis. And so they are synergistic together. You can't live without both of them. The lactate is a marker of tissue perfusion. You can have severe sepsis and still have reasonable tissue perfusion. You can have regular sepsis and have poor tissue perfusion. The one is going to tell you that you've adequately fixed the hypoperfusion situation, and the other one is going to tell you that you have a septic process that needs to be dealt with. I used to be one of those people who said, I can tell sepsis when I see it. Until I studied the biochemical response, and I realized that it's impossible. And the reason we can't do well at the bedside in identifying is the body doesn't do well in the initial phases of sepsis in differentiating sterile inflammation from bacterial inflammation. And so, yeah, there are lots of patients who I look at and I know they're infected. And I know I'm going to give them antibiotics no matter what. But what biomarkers help us identify, and procalcitonin in specifically, it gives us corroboration of our clinical impression. When it's positive, fine, we were right. When it's negative, it gives us pause to consider other diagnoses. And that's the beauty of it.